Juana. And I thought since we were talking about Latino diversity and identity, you'd like to know where I came from. Well, I was born in Nicaragua, and when I was three years old, my family got on a banana boat to cross the Gulf of Mexico and end up in Florida, where I grew up. But in the 40s and 50s, there was no such thing as Latino or Hispanic. And so I was so fortunate that I got a chance to go to college. And when I finished, I joined the Peace Corps and I went to Chile because I wanted to reconnect with my culture and my language. And I consider myself today to have a Chilean heart because of the beautiful people that I met there. But I trained for the Peace Corps in Puerto Rico, and I have that Caribbean vibe from being with my Puerto Rican brothers and sisters and growing up with them in Florida as well. And uh, then I have lived in the Southwest with my Mexicano brothers and sisters for my entire adult life. And I've been to Mexico many, many times and climbed the pyramids, and I embrace their beautiful ancient culture that has given us so much. You know, Mexicans are part of the American land. Uh, one of the things I did that was just really wonderful was that I spent three days walking in the jungles of Colombia to get to the lost city. And uh, the lost city is a, a beautiful place where the Indians went to hide from the Spanish thinking they wouldn't find them, but of course they did. Um, but you have to climb 1,300 a, a steps to get to the beautiful temples. And so I think I have a, a Colombian Cuban uh, kind of um, cumbia vibe because I also spent time in Cuba uh, and uh, love the Cuban Cuban people and have such deep deep respect for them that all that they've been through and how they keep their culture and their families their language and their dance and music together. So I believe that all of us have the opportunity to kind of be part of this cultural smorgasbord that we call Latinos. Uh, we have so many different cultures and music and the beauty that's in our soul, and uh, you get to experience that. I even got a chance to go to Brazil, and uh, it's, it's, it's just amazing to see that incredible country uh, with their integration of the black, Latino, Spanish, and, and European blood. So what I want to say to you today is I didn't have a lot of money. I've spent most of my time in the nonprofit sector, so I never had a first-class ticket. But you can travel, you can meet people, you can connect, and you can become multicultural and part of all these different cultures. So that's who I am today, but I hope to keep continuing learning and growing and connecting with the beautiful Latino community that is my soul. Bye.